Hello everybody, this is Mr. Storm, and today we're going to uh, format this family newsletter. Um, it's going to be a very easy project. Um, this is, there's no extra typing here, it's just us formatting this, and I've given you the instructions. Uh, it seems like there's quite a bit, uh, but it's really not that much. Um, this is just more advanced formatting options, or uh, techniques that you need to know in Microsoft Word. So I have my family news newsletter starter open and I have my instructions open. Yours are going to be a PDF. Um, so I have my newsletter open and the first thing I want to do is open the family newsletter, which I've done. Great. Uh, the next thing is do not add a header or a footer. So we're not going to add a header or a footer to this document because we want to use all the available space. And step three, margins. Change your margins to narrow. You may want to use a control A to select everything before we do that. So I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to select control A, which selects all the text on my page. And then I'm going to go to layout, margins, narrow. Now that looks great, but let's say I forgot to control A. So let me undo that. Let's say I just left my cursor somewhere in my document and I go to margins and narrow. Then I get some weird formatting like that, which is not what we want, right? So we want to make sure we control A to select everything um, and then go to margins and narrow. So if you're done with step three and your document looks like mine, then you are good to go. All right, step four, text formatting. Center the title and date change the size of the title to 24 and the date to 16 and then italicize the date. All right, so I'm going to select both of these because the first thing is to center them both. So I'm going to go to my home tab. I'm going to go to my paragraph section and I'm going to hit the center key. Okay, great. Now with my title selected, I'm going to change the font size to 24. And with the date selected, I'm going to change the font size to 16. Okay. And then I want to italicize the date. So I'm going to hit the italic key. Perfect. That was easy. All right. Number five, text effects. So I need to use text effects on the title and I can set it to whatever color and style I wish. So I'm going to select my title again and I need to find text effects. Okay. So let's see. Do I see text? Oh, there we go text effects and typography. So if I click this little arrow next to the text effects, I can pick a cool text effect that looks really good for my newsletter. I can also make all kinds of changes to it here. I can change the reflection and whatnot. I'm just going to pick, I don't know. Um, I like this blue one right here. That looks pretty good. It's very simple. I enjoy that. All righty and change the font to any style, any font that I wish. So let's find a good looking font to go along with this good looking text effect. Sure, we'll go with that, Forte. Alrighty, cool. Now, I want to use my Format Painter. Format Painter is a really helpful tool that not a lot of people use quite frankly, and, and it absolutely should be used as much as possible. So I want to select my title and I want to use Format Painter to copy this formatting down to birthdays. So I'm actually just going to click the Format Painter here and then select birthdays and it will apply the formatting to birthdays. Okay, perfect. Then I want to change the font size to 14. And I want to left justify my birthdays because I don't want them to be centered. Okay, perfect. And then I want to format paint birthdays to this month's big news. So I'm going to select birthdays again, click the format painter, and then come down here to this month's big news. All right, so far we're already making it look really, really great. I already like the changes that we've made so far. Okay, and ooh, we also need to take it down to story inspiration. I forgot that part. So let's do that. Perfect. Okay, and maybe if I was choosing again, or if I was looking at this a little bit more closely, I'd probably choose a different font for those titles, but that's okay. Alrighty, paragraph border and styling. So select your title and date. So let's go ahead and select those. 
go to border and choose a simple border. Go to borders and choose a simple border. Okay. So let's see, where would my borders be? Oh, look right there. And I'm going to choose a simple border. Um, you know, just, uh, I don't know. Let's just do an outside border. That looks good to me. Alrighty. And change the color and size of the border. Okay. So we can go in here to borders and shading. And let's see. Nope, not page border. Borders. Let's change the fill color to like a light blue. Okay, and yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, that looks better. I like that. That's nice. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, add dot leaders. Ooh, I love dot leaders. So highlight the birthdays and the numbers. So I'm actually going to go in here and select this stuff you know, inside this section. And I want to add a, um, I want to add a dot leader. So I go to my paragraph menu and I hit tabs. Um, let's see. So a left dot leader to three. Okay. Set that to three inches and hit okay. Oh, I didn't put in the dot leader. That's why. Okay. Let's go back to tabs three with a dot leader set. All right, there we go. Now we have that nicely formatted birthdays section. Perfect, insert text box. So go to insert text box and choose simple. Okay, insert and text box. And I want a simple text box. Okay, select the last paragraph that starts with thank you for reading. I'm going to select that and I want to cut and paste it into the text box. So I'm going to paste it into the text box. Alrighty. Resize the text box so it covers the entire bottom of the page. I'm going to bring this down and bring it over. There we go. So it covers the bottom of the page. With the text box selected, go to the drawing tools. Um, alrighty. Change the shape fill to the gradient of your choice. So let's go in here, shape fill. So it's not drawing tools, it's format. Um, I will change that for the okay let's change it i want a yeah i want that gradient and i will change the color of the gradient let's do that nice light blue again but this time i'm going to there we go looks good to me and maybe it's not the right color. Maybe an even lighter blue. There we go. And make sure I apply the gradient here. Better. All right. Cool. Um, boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. I think it looks great. Okay. Now I want to look at my text box margins. So we're going to need to change the text box margins so that it doesn't actually extend. I, I want my margins to come in a bit. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I need to show my rulers. So I need to hit view and I want rulers. There we go. And with the text in my text box selected, I want to drag this into about an inch. Oh, the, both the top and the bottom. 
and we'll drag this guy in as well. Okay. Now, for me, I think what I want to do is I want to, it doesn't say specifically to do this here, but I think I want to, um, I want to change the justification for this text. I want to actually justify it. All right, looks good to me. Yep, that looks better. You can make small modifications as you see, as you go through, if you if you really want to make you know changes to the document. If it looks better to you, that's A-OK -okay with me. All right, online picture. So we're going to insert an online picture. Pic picture. All right, so online picture. Now, if the online picture search for some reason isn't working for you, you can go to Google and you can uh, grab a picture off of Google and save it onto your hard drive and um, insert pictures normally, uh, like you normally would for a Word document. Um, I just like using the online picture search because it keeps my hard drive from getting more cluttered than it actually is. Um, so I'm going to choose... A picture of a family. Sure, they look happy. I don't care, whatever. So I'm downloading the picture and it's getting popped in there. Wow, these people look really happy. Okay, so insert a picture that is wide, not tall. Place it next to birthdays. So we're going to, we're actually going to scale you down quite a bit. Oh, there we go. We'll put it next to the birthdays. All right, so I want to change my text wrapping to tight. Okay, and I'll put her right there. Looks good to me. And add any picture styles that I'd like. So let's go ahead and add a picture style. <clears throat> mm. Where did my picture, oh, you know what? There we go. Quick styles, we can add. Now, you know what, I don't like that picture style. Let's do something very simple. Sure, looks better. Okay, so I've added a picture style to my picture. Insert shape. Insert a shape and draw it vertically between what columns? I didn't add columns. All right, well, I'm going to have to change that for this too. So the next step is going to be to select all of this. So from this month's big news down to story inspiration. And you want to change your layout to be two columns instead of one. So two column layout. And now I want to use insert and I want to find shape. Where's my shapes? There we go. Shape. I'm going to grab a line and I'm going to draw it all the way down here. I'm going to hold shift so it goes straight. Okay. And, you know, I can move that line over just a little bit. Okay. And I can add some add some decoration to it okay let's go back to format i like i kind of like the blue add a shape effect to it i don't really need to that's fine that looks good to me okay looks good looks good all righty and um, let's see, insert caption. So this is where I'm going to insert my caption. Shrink this up a little bit. All right, I have my picture selected and I want to go to references, references here, and I want to insert a caption. Okay, great. So this is not going to be, all right, yeah, let's see. So I want to type in here, I want to type, I don't know, um, goofing around, right? I'm going to get rid of figure one as well. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I guess I can't get rid of it. 
I'll do it down here. Okay, goofing around. All right, um, let's see. Increase the font size, change the color, do all that stuff. Oh, I left the, there we go. And italicize. So let's go home. We'll make it 11. We will italicize it. Okay. And good times. All right. So I need another family picture. I'm going to move this guy up just a little bit because now it's fine. It's fine right there. So I, I'm going to do another online picture and I'm going to search family again. And I can choose a drawing. I want to choose a family drawing. Um, let's see. Something that looks good for the... All right, well, let's just go back. We'll, we'll grab this one. Fine, why not? Okay, this photo is by unknown author is licensed by blah blah blah. Okay, great. So let's see. Search for a photograph uh, and insert. Change the text wrap to in front of text. So that's through, that's behind, top and bottom, tight, square, in front of text. Okay, I'm going to shrink them down nice and neat like that and put them over here. Okay. Sure. Looks good to me. Upper left hand corner of my shaded box. All right. Good. So there's my family newsletter, right? It's uh, pretty easy to do. The steps don't take very, very long. Um, you know, uh, it takes your bland looking newsletter and makes it look a little bit nicer. Right. And we can make some changes to it as we go. We can adjust things and make it look nicer if we really like to. But honestly, that's pretty good right now. So all I have to do is go to file and export as a PDF and then turn it in. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. But this is a pretty easy project to start off the term. All right. Thanks for paying attention. I will see you next time.